Hi, today we'll be making a bookmark on Canva. You'll want to go to canva.com and type bookmark into their search bar. It will show you an empty bookmark template on the right and on the left will be suggested templates that you can use as well. They have a lot of different templates you can use and they're separated by category. They're pretty cute. I want my bookmark to be double sided, so I'll just push this add a new page button beneath the blank bookmark template. If you aren't going to use a template or your own pictures, Canva has a plethora of pictures for you to choose from. If you are going to use your own pictures as I am, go to the upload section on the left here. I've already uploaded my pictures to save time, but to upload you would simply push the blue upload an image at the top of the upload section here on the left. So I'll place my picture in the desired spot. Just click the picture and drag it to where you want it on the bookmark. You can crop and resize the picture. I'm going to make a bookmark for my daughter to give to a family member. So it's going to have pictures of my daughter as a baby. I guess we assume babies are the kind of people who give out pictures of themselves. And it works out because they're adorable. Look at that face, those cheeks. You can do basic photo editing with these filters, and I always find the filters on Canva are really strong and unpleasant at their normal setting, so I tone them down a lot when I use them. Um, they also have a tab where you can adjust and mess with the color values, etc. I'm going to repeat this same process with my other two pictures, placing them and editing them how I desire. Now I'll add a background. Canva has lots of different background choices and I like how they're separated by color. It just makes it easy. And if I had a lot more white space on my bookmark, I might choose a picture. But right now I think I'll just stick with a color. So at the top you see the just plain color boxes at the top. Those are just if you want just a flat color. And that's what I'm going to go with for my bookmark. And you'll need to be sure you choose the color you want for both sides of the bookmark. I'm just going with different shades of yellow for both sides. Now if you want to add some kind of phrase or wording to your bookmark, just click the text tab on the left and choose a format you like. They have all different formats and kinds. It could be, and you can change the fonts you want, the size, the color, etc. I'm not going to add any text though. I think the baby speaks for herself. So I'm just going to go to the Elements tab on the left, and I want to add some pretty floral stickers to my bookmark. So I'm going to go down here to where it says Stickers, and then up to the search bar and type in Flowers. They have all different kinds. I think the flowers will be pretty enough to complement the cute baby without distracting from her as the main focus. And there's a lot of choices. And some you do have to pay for, and they tell you. But if you look, there's plenty of awesome free ones. So all the stickers I use in this bookmark are free. And when you do pay, it's like a dollar. A cool thing I like about Canva stickers is you can change their size, but you can also change their color. Some of them, anyways. So, for instance, I felt like this... Um, sticker I chose was a little too dark for my design. So after resizing it and placing it, if you go up to this top left corner where you see this black box, if you click it, a bunch of other color choices will come up. And so I changed mine to a medium dark gray, but you could choose any color, they have the whole spectrum there. I think that's a really cool thing. That it, I just really like that feature on Canva.
Okay, so I've got my stickers in place how I want them, and now I'm just going to go up to the top right corner over here and download my design. I make sure to remember where I save it, and I'm all finished. And Canva will save my design too because I signed up. I'm not paying for a membership. You can just have a free membership. And so they'll save my design, and if I decide I want to change something, um, I can go back and do that. Okay, now go forth and impress your friends with the cute bookmarks you designed yourself.